Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can clear a player's data. Clearing a player's data will basically clear the whole inventory and essentially all in-game progress. This is very easy to do, so let's get right into it. So as you can see, I'm on the server right now, and I have a ton of items in my hotbar. However, by the end of this, my hotbar is going to be absolutely empty. We'll also put some stuff around my inventory just to show that it removes everything. So there we go, we've got some stuff on our inventory. Alright, so first of all, we're going to have to find our UUID. So we're going to want to go to a website called NameMC.com. I will leave a link to this in the description. Once we're here, we then want to put in the name of the user. So for me, my name is Strange Stan. We'll press enter. And as you can see, this is my account right here. It might show multiple results for you. And that's because it will show users who have used that username in the past. However, you should always select the top one, as that will be the account that is currently using it. So we'll go into it, and as you can see right here, we have the UUID. And we're also going to remember part of it, so 46F80 is the very start. Then we're going to go back to Pebblehost. We're then going to stop our server, and this is to prevent any corruption. Alright, so now our server has stopped, we're going to go to the left, and then to the file manager. Once we're in here, we're going to want to go to our world folder. The folder will be named the same as your world's name, so mine is simply just world. So we'll go into that, and then we find player data. And as you can see in here, there's been a few players that have joined this server. So pretty simply, as you see right here, we had 46F80, which if we go back to name MC, we have 46F80 here as well, meaning that this is our player data. So we're going to check the box next to it. And if there is one that says underscore old at the end, we're also going to remove that. So we'll select that and then we'll click delete. And then once again, click delete. So now we've removed our player data. So if we go back to our server and then start it back up, we're now joining our server. So as you can see, I've been sent back to spawn. My hotbar and inventory are both empty, meaning that we have successfully cleared our player data. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can remove user data on a plugin. So once again, we're going to want to stop our server. And then once it has stopped, we're going to go back to the file manager and then into our plugins folder, then into the folder for the plugin. So mine's essentials. And then as you can see, we have our user data folder right here. And once again, we have our 46F80, which is my one. So we'll then select this and then click delete. And then once again, delete. And then once again, we're going to want to restart our server. So once our server has restarted, all of our player data will have been reset. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time.